There seems to be much disagreement on what is a good test for inertial propulsion. Uh, though most physicists contend a pendulum test is the best way to determine thrust, there is a disparity on which pendulum test is best. There are, two, there are two basic methods, the two-point pendulum test and the four-point pendulum test. Many discredit the simple two-point pendulum test, believing the center of mass in the machine can affect or bias the test while it's running. Uh, they generally recommend the four-point test. I discredit the four-point test because the drive has to lift itself up against gravity to deflect from equilibrium. On a two-point pendulum, this drive requires a force of 3.11 newtons to manually deflect it three inches. It takes 4.44 newtons for a four-point. This mechanical disadvantage alone could cause any small amount of thrust to be negated. So after careful consideration, I constructed a simple accelerometer with a self-contained power source and is independent of the drive. It attaches with suction cups like a, ge like a gecko or tree frog in either direction to show no partiality. So we are going to ramp up the engine in neutral with no shifters so that we can see both lights light equally. These micro switches activate at 60 centinewtons or about 2 ounces and we have a 2 ounce brass slug. We run it neutral. We we'll ramp it up. Now we're going to activate the shifters. Shifters off. To show that the, the simple accelerometer is not biased, we're going to reverse it to get the yellow light to light. Shifters on.